Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. It's Friday and for me that means cash stuffing Friday. Sometimes. Every other week. <laughs> so I appreciate you being here. Click that subscribe button. Like the video. Let's go. Hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing good since I saw you on Wednesday. Today we're going to be cash stuffing our second paycheck of January. I'm looking forward to it. So before we get that started, let me go ahead and grab today's prompter card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompter card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So, today's prompt -a card is This one might be interesting. I'm not sure if everybody will have an answer to this, but what's the most surreal or unexplainable thing you've experienced? When I was 18, like just turned 18, I was in my very first car wreck where I was driving. Actually, it's like my only car wreck that I have had while driving. And it was not a pretty accident at all. A guy, a grown man, ran a stop sign and just hit me on my side of the car. What was surreal about it was what my car did after I was hit. Now, he was in a big truck. I, thanks mom, was in a minivan and he slammed into my side of the car and I'm guessing the way that he crunched me in to his vehicle um, with the impact and then shoved me out, it caused my vehicle to flip on its side and spin this way. I remember seeing everything sideways and then I remember seeing everything upside down. I landed in a neighbor's yard who watched the whole accident because he was standing on his front porch waiting for the bus to come. He and his mother. So they saw the whole thing and they told me later that the van had flipped on its side, spun around and then bounced up in the air flipped upside down in the air all the way. So almost a full rotation, um, but it was already on its side. So it was like three fourths of a rotation. Full rotation landed on its tires in a ditch in their yard. There's no way to explain how or why my minivan, which wasn't like super tall or anything like that, did that flip. Like, it's almost like something was there that just kicked it up. And I don't know how I survived that, but I did. And when we went to go look at the van afterwards, after I got out of the hospital, on the very back of the bumper, there was a little piece of metal. I don't know what it went to. Still to this day, don't know. But it had a piece of metal just sitting there, just like you could pick it up. It wasn't attached or anything sitting on the back of that bumper and it was tiny. So it was like this big and it was a metal cross. I don't know what it was. It clearly wasn't like designed to be a metal cross. It just happened to be the shape. I don't know if it was a key to something or what, but in that moment, when I saw that and I picked it up and I looked at it, I cannot explain. It is unexplainable. This weird overcoming feeling that washed over me holding that. And to this day, I still have it. It's put up in my closet somewhere. I had never felt so safe. Like I was being watched. I had an angel around me that day because... Any little thing could have gone wrong and I wouldn't be here. So I would say that's my most surreal moment for me. And as a teenager, it was unforgettable. 
What about you guys? What's the most surreal or unexplainable thing you've experienced? It'll be interesting to hear some of those stories. All right, today we are stuffing our second and last full-time paycheck for the month of January. It's weird to say it's the last because we still have like a whole week and a half left of January, but it is the last full-time paycheck. We will have a YouTube cash stuffing on Monday. Cannot wait for that. You guys are going to flip out. I know I did. Anyway, not going to talk about that right now. We are going to be stuffing our paycheck number quote unquote two of the month. We got paid. It's a standard pay. It's something I like to call a standard paycheck. It was our base paycheck. No bonuses, nothing like that. And it was $2,371. We are putting $950 of that into February bills. So I left that in my billing account. We're going to use prop bills to showcase that $950 in my envelope. That leaves $1,421 that we get to stuff in our various cash envelopes and expenses and sinking funds. So that's what we're going to do today in this video. I won't go over where we're putting everything. We'll do it together. So now for the money, I have all $2,371 right here. As I said, I do have $950 that are in a prop bill that is to help showcase what we have saved for the month of February since we are working a month ahead in our bills. This should complete all of February bills and we are all done and ready to start on saving for March. So this is what we use to showcase that. I just leave it in my billing account because everything is on auto pay and it's just best to have that money in there ready to go. And then the rest of this is all cash. As you can see, I'm not going to count it all. It'll take forever, but just rest assured I counted it before this video. And it is, in fact, $2,371. First up, I'm going to start with my hubby's wallet. I have to give him his gas money, and we are definitely not going to be doing spending money this time. So I really just need one. So I'll put his gas money in this one. We'll put this one off to the side. So... With it being a standard paycheck, we did not put any money in spending money, which sometimes is kind of difficult because, you know, sometimes you just, you're out and about and you want to buy something or buy some food or whatever, especially for him because he drives a lot. So I know it's really hard for him, but we just don't have the money. Like we're trying to save up for a cruise and Christmas and birthdays and all of that. So we have to be intentional about where our money goes and spending money just wasn't in the budget with a standard paycheck so he's getting gas money i did up his gas money a little bit this time because he is driving our truck and the truck takes a lot more gas than our little car does so yeah but i just upped it twenty dollars for him so he's gonna get two hundred and twenty dollars for the next two weeks of gas twenty forty sixty eighty one hundred twenty forty sixty eighty two hundred and twenty so two twenty for gas for him for the next two weeks he travels quite a bit for his job so this should get him there now on to my wallet. I have to empty these coins out. Have to. I haven't done it. I didn't do it in the last full-time paycheck, but I definitely need to now. So we're going to empty out my change really quick. And now we are ready to pull out any bills that we have left over, which we do. Um, I have, like, we didn't get spending money the last paycheck, but I just had cash left over from, I guess, Christmas or whatever. Just some cash that didn't go anywhere. So I decided that I am going to, I'll take the ones out. We're going to put those in our $1 savings challenge later in this video. But I think I am going to roll over the 5s and the 10s. And I don't think I have 20s. I don't think so. So I will, I will sacrifice the $1 bills for our $1 savings challenge. Especially since I can't do any savings challenges this time. I did have $10 left over in gas. Kids allowances were given. And then we have... 
three ones right there that was left in kids spending. $10 left in miscellaneous we didn't use. And a dollar, this is probably from grocery, but I'll put it right there. All right, so that is everything that leaves me 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, and $60. Um, I probably will share this a little bit with the hubby since we just don't have spending money this time. And, um, yeah, and we'll just move the $1 into our $1 savings challenge, which, like I said, later in this video. All right, so let's get stuffing. Skipping spending, I am giving myself $30. Let me just, can I talk? $30 into gas for the next two weeks. And then... For kids' allowances, they get their normal $60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be 60. 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. For the next two weeks of allowances. Then for miscellaneous, always gets a 20, and for, no, that's kids spending, and miscellaneous gets a 10. So that is it for my wallet, and yeah, I'll give him some of this. And now we move on to our cash envelopes. This is basically another wallet, if you will, um, things that we spend quite often. So starting with grocery, we are getting 700. For groceries, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like sometimes people are like seven hundred dollars for groceries. Well, we are a family of five, and a family of six sometimes. Um, when well, every weekend we're a family of six, so it it costs a lot to feed these people. What can I say? For two weeks, by the way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred and twenty dollars now in groceries for the next two weeks. I should be doing a big grocery haul this upcoming weekend. This week, tomorrow, I guess. Oh, God. It's such a hassle. I miss being able to order my groceries. <laughs> All right. Pets. We are going to put $5 in. I'm going to do this in ones just because I had a, a whole bunch of ones in my back to the bank. One, two, three, four, five. So I figured it'd just be smarter to put it in here. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten dollars in my pets. We'll condense this later, so not worried about it. As far as everything else in here, we are good to move on. So nothing else in this binder. Moving on to my other set of cash envelopes that just don't get spent as often as the other ones. We have self-care. I'm not putting anything in here. The only one actually that I'm going to stuff in here is gaming and that's because I had one extra dollar and anytime I have one extra dollar, I put it in gaming just in case. Anytime I have extra ones, should I say, in my budget. So one, two, three, four dollars now in gaming. Should we want to spoil ourselves in our games? My husband and I, we play Brawl Stars, so it's super fun. All right, and then mental health. We are going to be putting our normal 130 in there. So now I'm doing that in 250s, 210s, and 25s. So that's 50, 110, 25, 30 that we are adding. So now we have enough for four whole appointments. We are two appointments ahead, so it's nice. 50, 152, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So 260 now in our mental health. And if you don't know, I have my teenage daughters in therapy, if you will, counseling, whatever you want to call it. And they take turns every other week. They go for an appointment. For me, it's every week because I'm taking them every single week. <laughs> All right, moving on to long term. The only thing we are stuffing in this bad boy is our cruise. I think that's the only thing. Yes, that's the only thing in here. So we're putting $50 into our cruise. 50 
So now our cruise has 1,000, 100, 2, 3, 4, 500, 550, 570. So $1,570 towards our cruise. That's exciting. Moving over to holidays. I'm not putting anything into um, Valentine's. I think that we are fully stuffed with it. I think we have 50. Yeah, we have 50 in there. But we do stuff our birthdays. My hubby's birthday gets $15 every paycheck just so that it reaches the $350 goal by the time his birthday comes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 60. So he has $60 now in his birthday. I do need to stuff for uh, Father's Day too soon. And same thing for wifey. $15 so that I hit that goal of $350 by the time my birthday comes, which is in April. So 1, 2, 10, 25, 35, 36. So $236 in my birthday now. And then Christmas. Definitely have to put Christmas money away. So $50 goes towards Christmas. We're going to add this 50. So now we have 50, 100, 50, 170 in Christmas. Which means we get to color another 50 box. If you're wondering anew, this is my tracker from last year. We're not saving 5000 but I like coloring in the boxes anyway, so yeah. What we are saving is, I clearly make one of these every single year. <laughs> but what we are saving this year is 2000 My goal is 2500 If I do all of this, it'll be 2660 And then, of course, if we do have any extra money that we want to throw at it above all of this, we can do that. But 120 January 20th, regular paycheck was $50, which we did. So we check that off. Moving on over to my kids' binder. We do stuff their birthdays. They get $20 every paycheck for their birthday because their goal for their envelope is $500. Just because we like to do stuff special for them, you know. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So my son has his first 100, his birthday being in November. And then my daughter will also get a 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. And her birthday is two weeks ahead of his, also in November. And then for my youngest, she's getting 20. And now she has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220, with her birthday being in August. Cars are all capped at $1,000, and that's the way it's going to stay for right now. Moving over to my kids' savings binder. I am not putting anything in grad party this time. I wish that I could, but I'm not. But I will be putting money into their savings. So, $5 into their slow grow savings. Now they have 1,000, 1, 2, 300, 305, and 310. So 1310 in each of their envelopes. Yes, they're all the same, so I'm not going to count them each time, but I will add the $5 into it. Enjoy this little ASMR moment. Okay, we're all done with this binder. Now moving on to my savings binder. We are going to put our normal $20 into savings. 
And now we have 500, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 795. So if I put money from my YouTube paycheck in here, we'll be able to condense this to another 100. So that's awesome. Everything else in here, though, we're going to sadly skip. But last binder, my reserves binder, well not last binder, I still have my savings challenge binder, but last main binder. We have car maintenance, which we're not going to put anything into, no. But we are going to put $20 into health savings because I did want to get this up to $400 because I want to pay the medical bills. So we're going to put that 20 in and now we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. Perfect. And then bills advancement. This is where the prop bills will go. Working with one month ahead, we're going to add this prop money into it. So now we have for February 1,500678921250. So 2,350, which is exactly what we needed to save for all the bills that are going to come out in February. So now February is done and we're working on March. We are also working on being two months ahead, which is right here. That's my goal for this year. By the end of this year, I want to be two months ahead on bills. And then this whole system changes. I can't wait. <laughs> but that is it. As you can see, we have no more cash to stuff. So let's go ahead and stuff these $1 bills. Right into my savings challenge binder. Usually I like to do an envelope, but I just didn't have the funds. I could have done it for my wallet, but since we were already sacrificing our second spending money of the month. We haven't had any spending money this month, so since we are sacrificing on that, I think that I just want to roll that cash over this time. So we are putting in our $1 savings, I know it says two, but it's $1. We're putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty dollars even. Nice. So we're just going to add that to what we have in here. We're not going to count it. We'll count it at the first, at the end of the first quarter of this year. All right, so that is it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be stuff. I should take these out. I'm going to keep five, but I should take these two out because I'm not doing these two challenges. So I'm going to do that right now since I have you here. But we do, you know, we, we, we inspire to do the five and ten dollar, but I'm not pushing for that but we definitely keep up with the hundred envelopes or I like to try should I say sadly not on a standard paycheck but that's it now we are done we've cashed up everything we've got all our bills paid for the month of February I'm so excited about that we have all our needs met we have some of our wants building so that when our birthdays come and our vacation comes we have those and then we have some sinking funds building with our savings in addition to having all the money I need to pay our medical bills. We have five and that means one of them will be paid off as soon as I pay them this month. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> so then I'll only have four medical bills and we are just going to keep busting it out. I think this is called the snowball method. I don't really know how that works. Um, never researched it in my life, but basically what I'm going to be doing is the $25 that I was putting towards that one bill. Now that it's done next month, I'll put that $25 in with the next smallest bill and it'll then be getting $50 each time so that it's paying it off faster. And then once that's done, the $50 that I was using for that, will go to the next smallest bill and we'll just keep snowballing that until all these medical bills are done. I'm so excited to be trying to do this. When I first started this, we were debt free. We didn't have any debt. We didn't have other than our truck and our house and our truck is paid by his company. So really just our house. So we had no debt, no credit cards, no medical bills or anything. But last year we definitely racked up some medical debt with being sick and then also um, vet bills and stuff like that. So yeah, now we have debt and this is an experience on learning how to pay it off. It's kind of cool.
Anyway, I'm rambling. I appreciate you guys being here. If you're still watching by some miracle and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do the YouTubey things. Let's just be a part of my little growing family here on YouTube. I'd love to inspire you each week with your own budgeting journey. We all have one, whether you do it or not. So let me be your motivation to keep going. I'm here every single week, posting three times a week at least. And I will see you guys in the next one, which will be on Monday. Our YouTube paycheck, man, this one was through the roof. I cannot wait to share it with you. So have a good weekend, guys. And as always, until next time, bye.